All righty, welcome to one of my most action-packed construction updates in a really long time. There is a lot to unpack here, but enjoy some footage while you're at it. There's just, the, the park always looks like a mini city when they have such few weeks left to get the park ready. But nonetheless, work is continuing on Moosehorn Falls, so um, Hartwell is over there getting some electrical work done, and while I was observing, I noticed Mindbuster was having work done to its double down. So um, it looks like some retracking is going on on Mindbuster on its double down. So that's really exciting. You're going to see some footage of them actually working on it really up close. And then you're going to see some footage of them throwing some of the track pieces over in the um, Behemoth storage lot. I guess, no, the Behemoth Basement is a better way to describe it, not a storage lot. But nonetheless, um, really exciting, because this is the worst part on Mindbuster. So for them to finally be working on this part, I'm really excited. Honestly, this is a really underrated ride, in my opinion. I truthfully enjoyed it a lot this season, and I know that comes from a place of being pretty bored of Wonderland's ride collection right now. So finding some joy in how rough and uh, incredibly fast, it feels like incredibly fast because it's a wood coaster, um, this ride is. I just enjoy it a lot, truthfully. But I'm, I'm super excited. Can't wait to ride it in 2024 and see how this retracking um, has helped it. Because uh, to, to be honest, this is like the worst section of the ride. So if they can fix that then this ride's honestly a pretty, like, it might move up on my list. We'll have to see in 2024. Now, what you're going to start seeing is a lot of work going on in the park. So now that the park is closed, they're able to work on a lot of things. Things are going to start moving really fast. Um, there's a lot of projects that Wonderland has. And if you are a viewer of the podcast, you know that I've been calling a lot of this um, to be coming um, over the next five years. So this is really action-packed. Um, the park is, you know, working on their front gate, um, and there's signs that this is actually going to be a lot larger of a front gate reno, um, which I'll discuss in today's video. So right now, um, as you see, some dumpsters have arrived. A dumpster has arrived outside front gate and inside front gate. They also started removing the signs. So you can see here they're taking down the signs from the curb area. Um, so that's another good sign that they're going to start um, removing all this. And they are in a rush to get all the Winterfest decorations in the front gate area out of there. So I've noticed that they're not taking any front gate or sorry, any Winterfest decorations down elsewhere. All the ones in the front gate area are being rushed out of there um, and they're moving really fast. So today was their first day back. Um, after Winterfest and it's just the two big trees are going um, the sleigh on top of front gate is going there's signs that the front gate Canada's Wonderland logo might be coming down as well if that comes down that confirms to me everything I need to know so I'm waiting on that keeping a very close eye on that so you see here the crane is lifting the sleigh down um, there's a dumpster there the fence surrounding the merch store expansion um, has come down as well and you can see the cement and concrete there um, so really excited to see what this front gate reno is going to entail. Um, I know uh, a, a lot uh, in the last video I discussed um, a layout. I'm hoping to get some more information out of Canada's Wonderland directly for me to um, present in a video. So I should be able to um, have a discussion with someone very shortly and I'll see what information um, I can get for you guys if the park will be willing to confirm any more. I know that the park did confirm with me directly that there is a front gate gate upgrade is the word that they used um, occurring for the 2024 season and that they had no further details to share at that moment. Um, but yeah, I know what you guys are all here for, though. The mountain coaster construction, more specifically the volcano blast coaster or ruins coaster. We'll have to see. But nonetheless, work is continuing in that area. So today on site, Wonderland had an HVAC company. Um, we saw signs of them ripping out the HVAC unit. In fact, you can actually still see it there on the grass. Um, and I think that's going to be something that continues. Uh, with an electrical room possibly being located in the mountain, it's going to need a cooling system. It's going to need HVAC for the room. So that's probably why they're there. Um, but Hartwell, this HVAC company and surveyors, I saw them over by the Vortex Lift Hill, um, are all still in the park. So definitely a lot of work occurring. Um, again, this is really early for a coaster. So I'm really excited to see what it ends up being. 
Um, and yeah, so there's going to be a lot of construction updates moving forward, but I highly suggest joining our Patreon. So our Patreons had this access to this information this morning or this afternoon. Um, and I definitely do the monthly newsletters and leak some things before I can leak on here. So become a Patreon if you want to support the channel. Thanks for watching today's update. Comment down below what you are most excited for, Frontgate or the 2025 Ghost. Have a good one, guys. Bye.